Today, I'm going to share with you how you are going to create Chapter 1 in your thesis, specifically for information technology. Alright, so um, this is my study entitled Design and Development of Attendance Monitoring for Faculty Using Bluetooth Low Level Energy or BLEBCOM. So um, this is so this is so this is um, an attendance monitoring for faculty in their classes. So um, as you can see in our, if if you have observed before in our in our classes in USCP, there are um, beadles or um, um, HR personnel that would check the attendance of the faculty if she or he is in his classes or her classes. So um, in chapter one, it is introduction. And under chapter one, you have background and rationale. So background and rationale is minimum of two pages. So the first paragraph should be um, the importance of, um, of your project. Okay, I'm going to give you a copy for this one. So, um, so you may be able to see. So the next paragraph would be, um, it's all about the current scenario, what is happening. Okay, so um, it's across the Philippines. So um, use manual system in monitoring the attendance of the faculty in the college department. So a checker, which is a staff or working student rooms around the campus and with the use of paper and pencil, an attendance sheet checks if the faculty really attended to his classes. So you may also add the policy. The next paragraph would be all about the problems. What would be the problems with this manual system? So first would be inaccurate, tedious task, and of course, um, the effect in the report generation. The next paragraph would then be you are going to introduce um, existing technologies that is being used in the attendance system or in the system that you have um, chosen or the, the topic that you have chosen. So that you are going to lay it down. And um, you, of course, do not forget the citation. Um, this is very important. You are going to include the citation. So this is how you are going to include the citation. Um, you are going to um, add the last name and then the, the date published. Okay, and then next would be the disadvantages of this existing systems. All right, so you introduce all the disadvantages. Okay, and finally, you are going to introduce your solution. What would be your, um, what would be the new technology that you're going to introduce or the new method that you're going to introduce? So for me, here is Bluetooth level energy beacon. So it's actually, um, it's, um, sorry, so this one, this is actually the beacon or the Bluetooth that we are, we are going to use, okay? All right, so you, you then, um, at the end, at the end of the background and rationale, the, the final paragraph would be um, the summary of what will be your system. So the proposed system would like to replace the paper and pencil attendance monitoring of the faculty. This system will only monitor the faculty and will, in, will not include the attendance of the student. So you are going also to include the scope of the system. All right, and how are you going to do the pilot testing? When we say pilot testing, um, it's just uh, a portion of um, whole USTP. So you're going you are just going to um, to test the system in um, in in laboratory or in IT department. Okay. The next would be one point two would be the statement of the problem. So you are going to state your statement of the problem, and there would be no specific problems because it is already um, stated in the background and rationale. One point three would be your objectives. So you are going to um, elaborate specifically what you are going to do in order to address the problem. Okay, so these are my specific objectives. And then the last two would be the significance of the study and then the scope and limitation. Actually, 
um, this still needs terms, definition of terms. Okay, so that's it for chapter one. So I'll see you on the next video for the chapter two.